everyone, I'm Noe and today we'll be talking about cool blurring tricks and techniques you can do with Clip Studio Paint. First off, let me introduce the blur filters and tools that we can use. On top here is where the blur filters are. You have normal blur, the stronger blur, the foggy blur, the moving blur, the surprise blur, and this thing that fixes jaggy pixels. <laughs> There is also the blend tool which contains three subtools, the blend that mixes all the colors together, the blur that has the same effect as the Gaussian filter but manually, and the fingertip just like how you smudge paint with your finger. Lastly, there is also the brush tool. You can use any brush you'd like as long as you know how to control your pen sensitivity to blend and blur the colors. Now on to the blurring tricks. There are 8 tricks I want to share today. Number 1. Is your artwork too messy because the background meshes with the character or does your character blend with the background too much? Fear no more because Gaussian Blur is here to save you. First thing first, make sure you did your background on a separate layer because the blur filter only applies to the drawing on the selected layer. Then, open the blur filter and apply Gaussian Blur to your background layer. Control the strength, and you're done. This method is especially helpful when you're doing webcomic. Blurring the background do wonders to the work. Number 2. Creating dramatic effect. I am guilty of doing this to most of my drawings. I just love the effect so much. When you draw something and you feel like it lacks the spice, just try out this technique where the artwork is partially blurred to give off drama. To do this, after you're done with your artwork, right click on the layer at the most top and choose Merge Visible to New Layer. This option will merge all the visible layers into a single layer. Make sure you place this new layer at the top because we'll erase it a bit later and we need the original drawing at the bottom. On that new layer, apply the strong blur. Then. Choose the soft eraser and erase any parts you want to focus on like the face area and so on. Ta-da! Can you see how different it is with and without the blur? Uh, well, actually not so much, but it definitely helps to set the mood and gives off drama. Number 3. Have you ever seen other people's artwork where some parts of the characters like the hair at the back or the leg on the opposite side looking blurry and they gives off that perception? Let's do that. First, you're gonna merge visible to new layer because like I mentioned, the blur filter only applies to the selected layer and place it on top. Then, use the selection pen to select the part that you want to blur. If you make mistake, you can just deselect it using the erase selection tool, don't worry. Once you're done, apply Gaussian Blur to it. Control the strength. If you feel like it's still lacking, go to Tonal Correction and select Hue, Saturation, Luminosity or just press Ctrl U. Make the selected part a bit lighter and you're done. If there is any mess, just clean it up using the eraser or the blend tool. Number 4. Do you know that you can make movement effect with blur? be it the character or the objects on the foreground or background, you can make them move with motion blur. For characters, you have to merge visible to new layer and place it on top like usual. If it's just a single layer, just duplicate the layer because you'll have to erase some parts of the blur later. Apply the motion blur and set the blur strength and the direction of the movement. Then erase the part that you want to highlight and you're done. For items in the background or foreground, make sure they're on an independent layer. Make sure you have a background layer, a single background layer, and then apply the motion blur, set it up, and you're done. It's that easy. Number five, you can also perform echo effect to your artwork. For example, if your character is screaming in panic or simply just for comedic effect, you'd want the surrounding to look echoey. To do this, make sure your entire drawing is in a single layer and apply Radial Blur. Radial Blur is somewhat like Motion Blur except that it has a center of focus and the motion moves in or out of the focus. Anyway, the Radial Blur filter has an X 
a red X that controls the center of the focus and you can move it around to control the center. See? And you're done. Number six. The blur trick is not only for completed artwork, but you can also use it for line art too. You can make glossy line art effect with blur. First, duplicate your line art layer and then toggle off the top copy and choose the bottom line art layer. Apply Gaussian Blur to it. Then, on the same layer, lock the pixels and recolor your line art to whatever color you want it. And then toggle on the top line art copy earlier and you're done. See? Your line art now looks glowy and glossy than before. Number 7. Okay, now let's try manual blurring tool instead of filters. You can use this to create stains or smudges. Say you want to add blood streak. Let me show you. First off, create a new layer. If not, it's going to mix us in with the character or the colors, the pixels on that layer. Use normal pen and draw streaks of red. Then select the fingertip subtool and smear it until you're satisfied. You can also use the brush or the other plant tool. Just keep on experimenting with it. Number 8. Finally, the last but not least. You can apply blur filters on text too. If text play a role on your artwork or you're doing web comics, this technique is definitely helpful. Firstly, type your text. Then, Rasterize it to change it to normal layer because you cannot blur it when it's in text layer format. From then on, feel free to use whatever blur filter you want. Different filter conveys different mood. For example, if you want to hide the dialogue from other character or the reader in your comic, use the Gaussian blur filter. If you'd want to convey urgency, then use the motion blur. That's all, I guess? I hope this video helped. Feel free to experiment with the filters and tool because there is definitely a whole lot more that you can do with them. I've linked the article version of this video at the description box down below. Do check out my Instagram too. Bye bye and thanks for watching.